Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be covering the Comfy UI update 0.3.0. This November release focuses primarily on UI updates. You'll notice that my interface looks different from before. This is thanks to a new button located at the top right corner. It lets you show or hide the sidebars as well as the top bar. Now the top bar for some of you may be at the bottom. It does not matter. It's going to hide all four sides and it's going to make it look like a cleaner interface, more like the Zen mode that you see in some readers or code editors. While we are talking about it, this Q panel can be undocked to a floating panel. If you want to dock it back, you can drag it on top of the bar when it changes color, release, and it will be docked back in position. Next, let's talk about the zoom functionality. This also got an improvement. So if you zoom out like this and you click on this fit view button, it will fit the workflow with a smooth animation. By the way, the functionality of this button also changed compared to the previous update. Before it would snap to the blue outline. Now it's going to adjust dynamically. So if you don't have anything selected, it's going to fit the entire workflow, regardless of how big that workflow is. By the way, you can deselect by clicking on a blank space. Now, in case you have a node selected, it will focus and zoom in on that specific node. Similarly, if you have multiple nodes or even a group selected, it will zoom in on that particular area. Now let's talk about what's being called as the biggest feature in this update. And that is the new native way of rerouting nodes. Currently, if I want to reroute, let's say this checkpoint node, the process is quite tedious. I will have to drag out a connection, open the context menu, click on add node, go to utils, and then select reroute. This will give me the reroute node. Alternatively, if the reroute node is already present, I can duplicate it by pressing and holding alt, drag out to make duplicate. You can also press control C, control V to copy and paste. Now with this update, it introduces a new rerouting options in the settings page. Now, right now, this is still in beta. So you will need to activate it manually. Go into settings at the top here, search for reroute or you can scroll down to the reroute section. Once there, enable the feature. If you hover your mouse over this helpful informational icon here, it's going to explain how it works. Basically, it tells you that if you enable it, you make some changes to your workflow and then later you come back here, disable it. It is non-destructive. This means that the reroute connection will be hidden and your workflow itself will continue to work like before. So for now, I think it is safe to activate it, test out. And uh, if you don't like it, you can disable it later without having to worry about breaking anything. However, do know that this is still in beta. For now, let me show you how it works. So according to the release notes, you should be able to press and hold down the Alt key and then click on any of the connection, the link, and it will add a reroute. You can also click and drag and it's supposed to give you that reroute. However, for me, it is not working right now. It could be a bug. Maybe I'm not using it correctly. Either way, let me show you a different method of how you can use this feature. So look for these circular connection points on the workflow. It should be in the middle of the line. Click on it. It will open the context menu and select add reroute. As you can see, this reroute point looks different from the old ones. You can move this reroute point by clicking and dragging it. You can also move the connected node itself. The reroute point itself will stay stationary. To connect the reroute point to a different input field, you can press and hold down the shift key, click on the reroute point, and then drag to create a new connection. At this point, if you release it, it will give you the normal search menu where you can add nodes or 
you can connect it directly to an existing input field. You can add multiple reroute points to organize your workflow just the way that you want it. So while we are on this topic here, let's go back to settings. At the top here, search for link, and then you can change the link render mode option to straight. This will change all the connection in your workflow to straight lines. Now for some of you, this may be more beneficial in workflow management and organization. Now speaking of workflows, we got an update on this one as well. With this update, it is supposed to make any workflow that you are saving a smaller size. So this is helpful in taking less space and basically saving storage. Now, additionally, if you have these reroute points, I'm talking about these new ones, they will now be imported correctly, keeping all the reroute connections intact. Previously, if you had the old reroute, sometimes when you import the workflow, the reroute node itself will be disconnected. Now this is fixed with this new update. Now let's go back into settings. Once again, there's another option to enable extensions. By enabling this on the left side here, you will see we have an extension option. It's going to allow you to enable or disable extensions directly in the settings page itself. Now, another one is to enable or disable the legacy menu. So at the top here, you can search for menu and look for this new menu option. There's a drop down here. If you select top or bottom, you will get the new menu. But if you disable it, it's going to give you that old legacy menu. Let's talk about the next update, which is related to groups. Now, let's say I have a group with some nodes inside by pressing and holding down the control key and then dragging. I can select all the nodes inside this will work regardless of whether you have multiple groups you can select all the groups at once you can also select nested groups with this option just remember to press and hold down the shift key when you are moving the items now there's one more update related to the web ui so instead of having to switch between different monitors or maybe trying to arrange your windows such that you can see the web ui and the terminal on one screen you can now use an integrated terminal directly inside the web interface to open the terminal simply press ctrl plus backtick this will show the integrated terminal which is the same thing as the independent cmd or powershell window that's floating around it will show you real-time log, which if like me, you use the Florence node or any similar node which outputs in the terminal, you can activate the terminal whenever you need to see the output by pressing the shortcut key. And once you don't need it, you can press the same shortcut key to hide this integrated terminal. By the way, you can also resize by dragging up or down. That's everything covered. Let me know which one of these features you like or dislike. I can already imagine some people saying that the rerouting might lead to more spaghetti mess, but I also know that there are plenty of workflow builders out there who are going to make beautiful workflows with this. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you have not. I appreciate all the supports. That's all for today. Thank you for watching until the very end. Take care, have a nice day, and I will see you in the next one.